Hello friends, thank you for stopping by my channel. It's today I'm here with my friend Wanderson that he's not only a yoga instructor but he's a black belt jiu-jitsu and coach and he's gonna show us and teach us some very important moves for self-defense for women. Hello guys. How are you Wanderson? Very good, thank you for having me. How we start? So, do you know anything about self-defense? So let's say someone is grabbing like this and trying to pull you, what would you do? Uh, she already knows that, I, but now we're gonna explain to you how to do it. So this first move we're going to be covering is when someone's grabbing you, no matter from where, someone's holding your wrist and trying to pull you. What you have to do is hold your own wrist with the other hand, you're going to bring your body close to the opponent or the person who's attacking you, bring your body close to him and your arm, from there get a nice wide stance and then you squat. So what she's doing here, hold me please, instead of trying to like fight arm with arm, what she's doing is she's using all of her weight by bringing her body close and when she squats, no matter how strong is the person, she can just get rid of it because she's using her body weight. So let's try again, Paul. Again. Boom. Like that. So let's try again, Paul. Boom. That was the first move. The next one we're gonna go is someone's trying to bear hug you. So someone's come behind you and bear hugging you here, trying to control you. What would you do? One leg goes behind. Oh, I'm kidding, I'm good, I'm good. Let's try again. So, grab it. Oh, now I'm gonna explain. He's heavy. So, Paul's gonna try to hold me now. What's happening here is, I'm, I'm gonna get one of my legs behind the person that's attacking me, no matter where you wanna go. It could be to any side. So once we get here, one leg behind, with this knee, you're removing the balance of the person. From there, what you wanna do, you're not gonna remove the person from the floor, you're just gonna push the knee forward. All right, for now we're gonna do a situation where if someone's trying to control you in the wall, we're gonna use a tree here because we don't have a wall, but it's the same. So if someone's pushing you against the wall, trying to choke you, Paul already knows, of course, what to do, right, Paul? Ah, exactly. She already knows. What are we gonna do here? If you pay attention to the thumb, that's exactly what we're gonna push against. If I try to push this side where there's all the four fingers, it's really hard, but if I fight against the thumb and I move to the side, that's it. You're out. Let's show it again. Let's do it again. Here you go. Boom. That's escape if someone's trying to control you on the wall. So one more time. Let's do it one more time. This escape, someone's trying to choke you with one hand. Let's do it. Just like that. All right, the last move we're gonna do today is when someone's on top of you. So in my, we call like, you know, the rape position. If someone's trying to attack you, what can you do from there for a female, for a woman? Paula is gonna show us what can you do in that position. So I'm gonna be, you know, the bad guy right here. I'm supposedly I'm attacking her, trying to take advantage of her. She's gonna show how to get out of it. So I'm here trying to attack her. You see the first thing she's doing with her arm? She's keeping her arm straight. That way I can't advance. Because her arm is straight, she can control my weight a lot. And you see she's just, just putting on my shoulder. She's not grabbing or on my chest. It's right on the shoulder. So from here, what she's gonna do, she's gonna move her hips out of the way by shrimping. It's called shrimping in Jiu Jitsu. So move the hip out to the other side and then legs on the hip. So the first thing she moves the, her hips out and then to put the legs on the hips. From there, next thing she can do is either kick or push me away and get up. We're gonna do it again one more time. So I'm here trying to attack her, create the space, move her hips out the shrimp, leg on the hip. From there, I can either, she can either I'm gonna see you trying to go. She can either wait for the moment when, when she can kick or push away with the leg and get out. So I hope you learned something very interesting today. And we work a lot the wrist 
practicing this. So I'm gonna show you just a little moment to get the tension of the wrist and stretch a little bit so we can come here to the mat with me. Oh, wonderful. And thank you, I love that. <clears throat> First, you're gonna put, uh, gonna come to the knees and the fingers pointing at your knees. Yes, and you're gonna move your weight a little back. So move your weight back. Keep the front of the hands, yes. You feel it on the wrist? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so your weight is doing a lot here. Is that your weight is stretching the front of your hands and the wrist. Okay, great. And you come back to center and now sit back. And we're gonna move the hands. You see your wrists are bent. And then it's like you're painting a wall. You're moving up and down and up and down. Great, and I'll shake your hands and shake your arms. And let's just stretch the arms up. And exhale, and relax here. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel to receive a lot of cool tips. And I hope you learned some very interesting self-defense moves today with our Great instructor, Wanderson, black belt, jiu-jitsu coach, and yoga instructor and everything. So if you want to learn more and if you want to take um, classes, private classes or group classes, you can contact Wanderson where? Mm -hmm. Social media. So just look Wanderson Dos Santos online and social media. My username is Wanderson for real. Because this is for real, okay? For so real. thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Oi, Benitinho, cara. Fica feliz. Tarará, 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 tarará.